Hi, I'm Rob, welcome to Rob's Models, and today we're going to be looking at my build of Airfix's de Havilland Chipmunk T10, and that's in the 1 to 48 scale. Product reference is A04105, and this is the tooling that actually got released in 2021. Uh, the reason this build's important to me is because I actually wanted to do a build of the aircraft that I flew in whilst I was in the Air Cadet. Uh, I'd done a couple of flights in one of these in the 90s and uh, I found my logbook a while back. It actually had the serial number and I managed to uh, track down some photos online of the actual aircraft and so using those and the base of the kit I've actually managed to uh, do a replica of the aircraft I flew in. So let's just crack on with the cockpit. I uh, did give it a bit of a primer coat, but the cockpit went together nicely. To be honest, it's pretty much black in there. I did consider getting some of the new 3D decals for the dials. I didn't bother in the end, and to be honest, I don't think they were needed. The main thing that I though added was the harnesses. Must admit, the fitting points for them, I've realised afterwards, I have got a little bit wrong. A little bit odd for Airfix not to include the harnesses, but I managed to scratch build some in my typical way of flattening out a bit of lead wire. Painted it a browny colour, I just thought it had a bit more contrast with the black uh, of the metallic of the cockpit and a little bit of silver on the catches and sort of layered up a bit so it looks like the straps have doubled back. Uh, main fuselage went together, well, I was going to say quite well, the area around the cockpit there was definitely um, the bottom of the engine cowling sort of part there. Uh, didn't want to clip together. Uh, you could see that the cockpit kind of clipped into the fuselage sides and I could always get one side to clip in but not the other. I tried various sides, tried filing. In the end I just realised that I was going to have to um, have a bit of a gap and do a bit of filler. Fortunately uh, not too much detail was actually lost on that area. But the biggest sin I think um, Airfix have done with this kit is they've um, on the wings when you the bottom half all goes in one but the, the top wings, the, um, the location pins are slightly out and that kind of forces the wings to bend down. You can see in this picture on the left hand side are the, the port side wings which is right in that picture. Uh, I've actually removed the tabs and, and just literally laid it on, glued it, waited for the glue to dry, perfect straight line dihedral. But on the left side, the starboard wing, uh, that's not actually glued in place. But what I've done there is I've put the locating pins in place and I'm just using my fingers to grip it into place so they don't ping out. But you can see that's forcing the wing to bend. The engine cowling, so you can have it posed with the engine open, which is great. Um, you can show off the engine. However, the actual cowling covers have got big ejector pin marks which are really needed a lot of filler and filing to smooth them off and uh, with that being open they would be uh, quite visible. So apart from that, the kit though went together nicely, uh, primed it with the AK Interactive Primer and Micro Filler, um, done the white one because of course there's going to be uh, the white paint on there, uh, used the Vallejo to, for, the, for the main sort of fuselage, then went on to the grey, got the red down, must admit, I added a little drop of black to the final layer of red just to try to add a little bit of texture to it. It kind of worked, but worked a bit too well. I think it darkened it a little bit. I know it's meant to be a bright signal red, and it is. It's still got that glossy finish, but it just kind of added, I found a little bit too much texture. But again, hindsight, it's not until you're finishing the model that you look at it and think that's a little bit too dark. It did have a bit of bleed through, but to be honest, nothing major. The paint combination that I've used isn't actually one of the four um, options in the instructions. I also had reference pictures that I took from visiting the International Air Tattoo a couple of years back. There was a chipmunk there which actually had the same scheme as the chipmunk that I flew in back in the 90s, so I could use those for reference. Uh, mainly the de decals, I had to use ones from different schemes. So to do the serial number, the WP840, which was the serial number of the aircraft I flew in, um, I actually managed by cutting up the decals from the various schemes could actually manage to make that number which was actually more of a coincidence so decals went down very very nicely actually used a bit of microset microsol as standard but uh, there's quite a few fine rivet details some recess detail and genuinely give that painted on look and with the white as well the white's still thick enough on that round all that the red doesn't sort of show through it doesn't turn it pink I've got to say it's a, a nice little kit, 1 to 48 scale, uh, loads of detail on there and the fact that I could actually do it and, and take it and actually build into an aircraft that I actually flew in, it's nice to actually do a replica of that and 
sitting on the shelf next to some of the fast jets and the fancy sort of things that might look, not look so impressive. But for me, it's got a story. I've been Rob. Have a great day. Happy modelling and catch up with you soon.